Um, what I mean by painting a series of small paintings, um, here I'm getting ready to prepare uh, some more paintings for my inventory. I have a gallery who just contacted me um, a while back asking for more paintings. So this is, I just want to make this video to show you how I prepare um, a series of paintings for a uh, gallery or art show or art festival. So in this video, that's all you just see me go through the whole process from beginning to end on how to paint a series of painting. Here you see me just on uh, some 6x9 wood blocks. I'm using a sponge brush and I got my gallon of uh, gesso. And basically I'm just going to, I have five pieces of blocks so I'm just going to go over each um, 6x9 instruments. Here I'm just using the Sharpie. Now the gesso is dried, which you can obviously see. Um, I let the gesso dry about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, here I'm drawing a person playing saxophone. I've drawn these so many times that um, it's so easy for me to just draw quick sketches of um, each musician. The color that I'm going to use for my color scheme is going to use white, um, raw umber, and yellow. I'm going to kind of do a neutral color. So I'm going to mix a little, for my background, I'm going to have a neutral color. I'm going to mix some white, yellow, and um, raw umber. You can choose whatever color scheme that you like. I use a lot of times I paint my jazz musician with a lot of bright colors. But this time I want to paint with some neutral colors. Have a neutral uh, color scheme. The color that I'm having using right now is a pretty good neutral color. So I usually try to have my background for my jazz musicians light. Use a light color and then that clothes and the instruments uh, more of a darker color. So we're gonna have a nice contrast. Should be it. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is pretty much add my next color. I'm gonna use a darker color for my um pants. You may say I want to try to have a nice contrast between light and dark. Now my background is light, so now I'm gonna make my uh the clothes for my uh musicians uh a darker color. So I'm mixing uh some raw umber and uh Raw Sienna together. So I'm going to do all um, the pants of my musicians, um, this particular dark color. And for the top, for the clothes, for the shirt, excuse me, for the shirts and the jackets, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to use like a, a lighter, uh, almost a white uh, hue. And the instruments are going to be a uh, yellow, goldish tone. And pretty much it's like a similar line. Um, I just go from one piece to the next. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my next color here. I'm going to make um, uh, a goldish tone using some of this yellow and um, burnt umber. I've been saying raw umber throughout this lesson, but it's actually um, burnt umber. So I'll mix that up. And I have a nice goldish tone for my... Uh, horn instruments, my saxophone and my trumpet. I think that's a pretty nice color scheme. You got the uh, light neutral background with the strong brown um, pants with the light white shirt and that nice goldish uh, color for the instrument. Alright, now that I did that I'm going to add uh, black for my piano. As you can see I already, I've already started adding uh, black to my piano. I use a lot of black for my jazz musicians. I don't do it for landscapes and that kind of thing, but only for uh, my jazz musicians. My jazz musicians are mostly kind of almost 2D uh, a little bit. They're kind of flat, so I'm not really trying to add value to these particular uh, musicians or this particular style of painting. So um, 
a lot of times I use black to kind of help define the uh, musicians and also uh, to kind of outline the musicians, so to speak. So, but if I was doing a landscape or something like that, I normally don't use black. I would use a dark color, say like blue or something, to make the area dark in the uh, landscape painting. I'm going to put them out so you guys can see. Line them up. Let me zoom out a little bit. Awesome. It's all done. That took about mm, 40 minutes, maybe. Get those done. Of course, I edit this video. So chop it up a little bit.